All right, in this video, we'll talk about conductors and electric potentials. So, remember that if you've got a conductor, say something like this, you're talking about two points, and you're on the surface of the conductor, say here and here. That's point A, and this is point B then the electric field is perpendicular to the surface of the conductor. Now what does that say about equipotential? Well, if we try to move between these two points, delta R, the work would be Q E dot delta R. And this would be equal to minus delta U. Or put another way, E dot delta R with a minus sign is delta U over Q is equal to delta V. But we can see that they're at right angles to each other. So this is equal to zero. None of the electric field points in the direction of motion. The force doesn't point in the direction of your displacement. So there is no work done on the particle. This means that the potential drop between these two points is zero. So VB minus VA is zero. The voltage at point B is the same as the voltage at point A. All points on the surface of a conductor are at the same voltage. So if we connect a battery, say of 1.5 volts, to a metal dome, every point on the metal dome is at 1.5 volts. This is not true if you connect it, say, to an insulator. But if you connect it to a metal, you set every point of the metal on the surface at that voltage. Furthermore, it's not only the points at the surface that are at equa potential. All the points inside the metal, even if it's hollow, are at the same equipotential. Now how do we know that? Well, if you're inside a conductor like this, this is metal, okay, inside this point, then between point A and point B, we calculate that the difference between point B and point A, which is VB minus VA, is equal to minus the electric field dotted into a displacement. And of course, if we've got to do a bunch of them, maybe this is the sum. But here's the thing. Inside a conductor, the electric field is zero. This means there is no force on charges. If there is no force on the charge, then the force can't do any work. So since the field inside a conductor is zero, we have that the difference between the voltage at point B and the point A is equal to zero. Now I said just a second ago this could be true even if it's hollow. I gotta be a little careful there. It'll be true if the electric field inside of something is hollow. So for instance, if you had something like this so this was a conductor and you hook that conductor say up to 10 volts then every point inside here would be at 10 volts the point on the surface would be at 10 volts. The point right over here would be at 10 volts. All the charge in this case lies on the outside of the conductor. And actually we don't know how much charge was put on there, at least not right off. We might be able to figure it out. It's whatever charge was necessary to make the potential 10 volts. So this is one of the cases where voltage is better for us than dealing with electric field. Batteries set up voltages. 
And so when you hook a battery to a metal, it sets it up to whatever the voltage of the battery is. Here's the case where you couldn't say that inside, if you had a point charge, Q, and then you had some metal surface around the outside, like that, then the voltage at different points this will be different because there is an electric field. So not equipotential inside because of this charge right there. Inside the metal, equipotential. So inside the metal, equipotential, not equipotential inside sphere. So it depends. If there's an inside charge so that you have an electric field in this area in here, then these places will be at different potentials. But then every spot in the metal will be at the same potential because there's no electric field inside the metal. On the other hand, if you hook the charge on the outside by a battery and there were no charges inside of here, since there's no charge, by Gauss's law, there's no field in here. And if there's no field, then every point is equipotential. Since every point up here was 10 volts, all the way to this point here, and every point from there over to here doesn't have any change, then every point on the inside of this is also at 10 volts. That's somewhat a tricky one for most students. All right. This is what I basically said in part C. All points in an empty cavity inside a conductor are the same potential as a conductor, again, provided, provided no charges inside cavity, i.e. I said empty cavity. So inside an empty cavity, all points are at the same potential. Okay, that completes this section on dealing with conductors and equipotentials. I'll see you on the next video.